In mid-2014, passenger service begins on the Central Corridor. Between now and then, crews will install and test systems to power the light rail vehicles, as well as control automobile traffic along the 11-mile stretch. The Central Corridor light rail will run with traffic from downtown Minneapolis, across the Washington Avenue Bridge, to the east bank of the University of Minnesota, then travel east on University Avenue, past the state capitol, and then into downtown St. Paul, ending up at the Union Depot. With light rail tracks now in the middle of the road, traffic rules have changed. For example, motorists can still make left turns onto University Avenue from a cross street, provided there are no vehicles or pedestrians in the crosswalk. When making a left turn from University to a north-south street, drivers should only turn on a left turn arrow. Not only have rules changed for drivers, pedestrians are also impacted. Before this LRT line was built, people crossed University Avenue and downtown in a lot of times wherever, wherever they liked. So there were a lot of mid-block crossings that took place. People just walked across the median or at any of the intersections, any of the unsignalized intersections, pedestrians were allowed to cross as well. The Central Corridor project now features legal crossings at about every eighth of a mile. At those locations, a crosswalk helps pedestrians safely cross the road and the tracks. Audible and visual commands, coupled with tactile strips where the street begins, will help both hearing and sight impaired pedestrians. And while the station platforms and guideways leading to and from the stations might seem like a convenient shortcut or even a great place to hang out, the no trespass signs mean business. So to recap how you can stay safe with light rail, pedestrians should only cross at intersections in mid-block crosswalks. On foot or in your vehicle, always look both ways for oncoming trains. Get in the habit of staying off tracks. Likewise, stay off the platforms. Later this year, you may see Metro Transit testing the LRVs along the Central Corridor, but there's no time like the present to begin good safety practices around light rail.